I am on the Redex Sim stand now and I'm joined by sales manager Nick Darkin. Nick, how are you keeping? Yeah, very well, thank you. And uh, just delighted to be back here again. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long 26 months, is it? I think we've been missing. Um, and it's good to be back through the doors, get a feeling for, for the industry again and actually just see those faces and make contact. So yeah, happy days. So speaking of, obviously it's been a rough three years for everyone. Absolutely. Um, how have Redexin been holding up through, you know, COVID and such? So it's been an interesting time for us. We went through a rebrand, uh, formerly Charthouse Turf Machinery, and yeah. we've we've picked up with our uh, uh, parent company's name, so we now uh, uh, trade, I should say, as uh, Redexin UK. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, the fact that we went through the COVID as, if, as, COVID as everyone else has mm -hmm. done. Um, interesting first three months when it all kicked off. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we had to do some things as many businesses did. We, there were people going on to furlough mm -hmm. uh, and actually then we realised that people were coming back to us mm -hmm. uh, and they were coming back in strength and once golf in particular opened up again uh, we've seen a real resurgence in business and in, in the golf trade in particular. Mm -hmm. um, did it affect anything in terms of supply chains or anything of that kind? Yeah certainly supply yeah. changes. <laughs> supply chains is the big one at the minute. Um, some of the factories, many of the guys' factories will have uh, closed down, mm -hmm. uh, so there was a, 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 a slowing in production, and then we came back to this resurgence, mm -hmm. and we're playing catch up with component parts, mm -hmm. uh, some of the other parts as well. So, yeah, it's been difficult, um, but uh, we're, we're managing it and doing our best to get through it. So, yeah. So, moving forward, tell me a bit about what's going on in the here and now. So, what have we got on the stand? What's new? So, uh, the here and now, we've got a machine behind us, the 2519 Vertidrain, which was actually launched two years ago. Um, and then we went into COVID. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's been fascinating to see this go out. It's been a real game changer for people. High speed machine, uh, high product productivity. Um, yeah, a game changer, really, for those guys in, in the aeration market. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we launched as well was a machine called the Top Brush. Uh, which is a six metre hydraulic driven brush, ideal for knocking out worm casts, which has been a big issue in the industry, uh, and also things like dew removal, presentation, uh, organic matter removal. So again, that's been something else in the last two years, which have been difficult. We've had two great new products that have really helped us through. Have you found there's been a lot of interest for these at the show this year? There has. Uh, at the first day was perhaps a little quieter than we'd have liked, but actually we're, we're into the second day now and actually it's gone. It's been a much more of a buzz about the show. It feels uh, as, as if it were the normal kind of show day. So yeah, no, it's been good. Yeah. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed for next year being back at full capacity, absolutely. the BTME that we know and we love. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nick. Brilliant. Nice to see you.